everyone. We are now doing our other battery comparison for iOS 17.5. So this update just officially came out. So right now I have the iPhone 15, iPhone 14, iPhone 13, iPhone 12, iPhone 11, iPhone 10 R, iPhone SE 3, and the iPhone 10 S. And we're going to go and check back every once in a while and basically just go ahead and basically try our best to like kill these phones as fast as possible. But whatever I do on one, I'm going to do on the other. They all have all their apps, you know, cleared out as of right now. So if I would do one thing on one phone, I'm going to do it on the other. And they're all on their max brightness as well. So I've done a few of these. I, you know, have a really good time doing them. With this current generation of software, I'm pretty sure I, we can probably tell as our other battery comparisons we've done. The iPhone XS is probably going to come in last place. The iPhone 15 is probably going to come in first place. So for the first hour of this battery comparison, I'm just going to leave them on in their main display for one hour. So I'm going to come back in an hour from now, like at 12, 16, and I'm going to go and see where they're at. Hopefully they're, you know, a little bit dead, more dead than they are now. But we'll check back in in about another hour and we'll basically see where we're at from there. So I'll see you all there. It's been about an hour on all of our phones. And you can see we're at varying battery lives. So we're iPhone 15 right now, 94%, iPhone 14, 93%, iPhone 13, 91%, iPhone 12, 90%, iPhone 11, 87%, iPhone 10 R, 81%, iPhone SE 3, 88%, and the iPhone 10 S at 83%. So what we're seeing so far is that the iPhone 15 pretty much doing the best as I kind of thought. The iPhone 10 R is doing the worst. The iPhone 11 is doing better than I thought too. So what we're going to do now is we're going to load up Temple Run 2. Now Temple Run 2 is not that crazy big of a game. But it's a very good one that I like to test out. So I'm going to load up Temple Run 2, and I'm going to play that game on all of these phones. Again, max brightness, everything's the same for another hour and we'll check back in in about another hour and see where we're at from there. So I'll keep you guys updated and I'll let you know where we go from there. So it's been another hour and we are at varying battery lives once again. So I'm going to hop out of Temple Run 2 on all of them almost at the exact same time. It was like whatever, like a second or two. And out of all the batteries that we have, you can see that the iPhone 15 probably is still number one. The iPhone 15 is at 81%. The iPhone 14 is at 78%. iPhone 13 at 76%. iPhone 12 at 74% iPhone 11 at 67%, iPhone 10R at 53%, iPhone SE 3 at 67%, and the iPhone 10 is at 58%. Right now, what's very surprising to me is that the iPhone SE 3 is doing significantly better than I thought. The iPhone SE 3 is outperforming the iPhone 10 or 11, almost the 11, and the iPhone 10 S. So out of these batch of phones, this one's doing the best. Out of the top set of phones, you can see that the iPhone, it's so crazy, the battery life is almost better on every single generation by 2% or so. So here's 2%, here's 2%, and then here's almost 2, it's like 3%. So I'm seeing some pretty, you know, notable things here. And since they're all on iOS 17.5, this is probably what everyone's going to experience. But remember, the older phones are going to have less battery because of their battery health versus the newest ones. So right there, I mean, that's a pretty big thing. We'll check back in in about another hour on Tupper Run 2 and see where we're at from there. So it's been another hour. And once again, we are at varying battery life. So I'll go and hop out of all these one more time. And you can see that I'm pretty sure that the iPhone SE 3 is probably going to be better than the, these iPhones on here. But you can see right here the iPhone 15, we're at 69%. iPhone 14, 62%. iPhone 13, 63%. iPhone 12, we're at 59%. iPhone 11, 45%. 10 R, 25%. iPhone SE 3, 46%. And the iPhone 10 is at 32%. So we're still kind of all over the place here. I'll still tell you the iPhone 15 is still in number one place. But you can see that the 12 the 13 and the 14 have actually flip-flopped. So now the 14 is doing better than the iPhone 13, which is actually pretty crazy. The iPhone 12 is still doing better than the iPhone 11, and the 11 is doing much better than the iPhone 10R, which is actually pretty insane. So, so far the SE 3 is still doing about the same as the iPhone 11. It's funny that that kind of changed now. <laughs> so what we'll do again, and this one just went down again. So these two, I mean, it's pretty crazy that these two are so similar. There's a lot of heat emitting from these iPhones as well. So we're going to go back for another hour. We'll go and let these things kind of bubble up and kind of see what happens there. Both are going to do great, and we'll check back in in about another hour and see where we're at. So it's been another hour, an hour and one minute since my last check-in. So let's go and see where we're at. These phones are like burning right now. Hopping out of all, all of these, you can see that my iPhone 15 is at 56%, iPhone 14, 45%, iPhone 13, 48%, iPhone 12, 44%, iPhone 11, 23%, iPhone 10 are 1%, iPhone SE 3, 23%, and then the iPhone XS is at 5%. So, so far, clearly the iPhone 15 is still number one. The second place is, you know, 45% here. You can see the dichotomy between, you know, the 10R dying at 1% and the 15 dying at 56% or here still at 56%. I mean, that's a crazy difference. Even in like second place, there's like about 11% difference here. 
The 14 is now doing worse than the 13, which is kind of funny. The 12 is still doing really good. It's looking like it's going to be better than the iPhone 14 over time. And the bottom group of iPhones definitely are doing the worst as far as I can tell. And that's just kind of what happens when you're getting these types of devices. That just kind of ends up what's happening for the most part. But I'll tell you for the most part right now, all of them are doing really good. It's kind of going as I expected. Even for the 10 out of the last four hours, it's pretty decent. So this one's about to die. We'll check back in about another hour out of that five hour mark. This one's probably going to be dead. The tennis is probably going to be dead. And these two are going to be very, very close to dying. And we'll basically see where we're at from there. So it's been about another hour, and let's go and see basically where we're at. So hopping out of all these particular games and applications and everything, you can kind of see where we're at. The iPhone, so the, these two phones ended up dying, we'll get into that in a second. iPhone 15, 41%, iPhone 14, 29%, iPhone 13, 31%, iPhone 12, 24%, iPhone 11 at 1%, this one's literally about to die, and then the iPhone SE 3 at 3%. So what have we learned so far? I can definitely tell you as far as I can tell. With these two phones, the iPhone XR was the worst one technically, 4 hours and 9 minutes. The XS ended up dying around 4 hours and 14 minutes. So with these two, it's kind of what I expected. I expected the XR to do the worst. Actually, I thought the XS was going to do the worst, but the XR was still down there. I knew these ones were going to be the worst ones. I'm surprised the iPhone 11 is doing this much worse than the iPhone 12. I always thought the 11 had better battery life, and it did. But I guess with the new updates and everything, you can clearly see there's a massive difference between the iPhone 11's battery life and the iPhone 12's battery life. The 13 is still doing great. The 13 is, and this one literally just ended up dying right now with the 5 hour and 7 minute mark. So I will go and make a mark of that right now. But you can kind of see what was going on between all of them. So I will literally just go ahead and have them all basically just go on the battery life once again. I'll probably do Temple Run 2 as you probably would have suspected. And we'll check back in in about another hour and basically see where we're at from there. Another hour has passed and you can see that we're at varying battery lives yet again. So the iPhone 12 is at 7%. iPhone 13 is at 17%, iPhone 14 at 17%, and the iPhone 15 is at 30%. The iPhone 11 did end up dying at that 5 hour and 7 minute mark. So you can see still, so far the bottom row is doing the worst. Top row of iPhones are doing pretty good. Within the next hour, I'm pretty sure the iPhone 12 is going to die, followed by the iPhone. These two might be the same. So in the next hour, hour and a half, I think these three are going to die. So we'll check back in in about another hour. Again, they've been playing Temple Run 2 for the last hour, and we'll check back in and see where they're at an hour from now. So then we finally came to the end of it. And as you can see, the iPhone 15 was the longest lasting phone here. At about 11%, it outlasted all the other phones basically for the most part. So what do we learn? Basically, the iPhone 15 still is basically number one. This is a great iPhone. It has an amazing battery life and everything with it, which is amazing. And that's exactly what you'd expect from the current generation iPhone. But even then, I mean, this iPhone is still at 11%. It could probably go for like another hour or so. Like this iPhone could last probably a much longer time. And it's pretty crazy because when you look at the iPhone 14, 7 hours and 30, 13 minutes, this one probably could have lasted an hour on top of that one, which is pretty insane. So overall, if you're wanting the best iPhone with the best battery life right now for these sizes, the iPhone 15 is number one. And if you want the worst one, it's probably going to be the iPhone XR, which is probably expected. So that pretty much covers it up here for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.